Oh boy, it's been a while. Uh, sorry about not recording for the last two, three months. Uh, first, with obviously the whole COVID thing, we stopped working from in the office and back at home, I didn't have my camera or anything set up, so I couldn't really do any design videos. And then once that all kind of got under control, we did a bunch of stuff with the assembly line, which I'll show you in a minute. And I was hoping to do a nice time-lapse kind of recording of the transformation, but that didn't happen either. So hopefully after this video, I've got like two or three ideas coming up for new projects and design videos. Hopefully can get those back, uh, not probably every week, but at least every other week or so and stay on that schedule unless another pandemic happens. So this is how the assembly line space used to be. Right where that stub wall is, all the way over here, this was the entire space. So we had the printer going to the picking place, going to the oven, and then we had tables all in here. It was like 400 square feet, just a nightmare to actually work in. Now it got a little bit bigger. We're now at, I think, just under 2,000 square feet, so quadrupled in size. So now we have the printer going to the pick and place, going to the oven, and then all of our testing, rework, packaging, uh, programming, all that stuff is over here. And then the shipping area is over through that wall like it used to be. So, and here's all of our nice and recently organized and barcoded part storage, which is super amazing. Um, so what's gonna happen, The other than the obvious, just having more space here, the main reason we did this is right in this space. So right where the old door used to be, there's going to be a selective soldering machine, which will allow us to do through hole components on double sided boards, uh, pretty much any board, it doesn't matter. That'll sit right there. And then this oven, which is a Heller 1500, it's a older early 2000s five zone oven. It works fine for lead free, but it's not made for it. It's not, uh, it doesn't have as much, as many zones as you would like for lead free. So that oven is being replaced by a Heller 1800 EXL. The EXL means that it's made for lead free, so the heaters can go up to 350 degrees Celsius. That has eight zones. So it's gonna be out to about the end of this wooden table, and that will be fantastic for lead free and really dense boards. That's kind of what it's made for. That oven is going to go up against this wall, and I don't think we're gonna plumb it right off the bat, but we will plumb the 1500 with an exhaust out the front there, and that is gonna be kind of our backup oven slash um, one-off boards, kind of stuff like that to where we don't wanna fire up the main oven for it. So with that oven being there, then we still have all of this space in the center here. Not gonna be utilizing it at the start, most likely, but eventually we'll probably get another pick and place, uh, something more for like low, super low quantities, like one-offs, two-offs, that we can just throw in some parts, uh, like a My Data, My Chronic, something like that. Uh, it's the same same thing in place that Spark Fun and Spark Fun and Adafruit or just Spark Fun has. It's kind of made for that niche. But yeah, for now we're gonna stick with we're gonna stick with how it is right now, probably for another month or two, just to kind of get used to the new space and not kind of overwhelm everything. But after that, in the next month or so, we will get the selective solder and the new oven, and that should be pretty well set here for the next next little while hopefully be done uh, done expanding and actually can start utilizing this as it was meant to be. So I just wanted to give kind of a quick recap and overview kind of explaining where I've been, why the videos have stopped. And I really appreciate all the new subscribers and views. Uh, during the pandemic, a lot of people I guess are learning electronics, which is awesome. 
and I feel bad that I haven't been doing videos or responding to comments. So I do expect that, and you should expect that to change. Um, I'm definitely gonna be working on two projects specifically that will be coming out soon. And after that, I'll hopefully, like I said, get back to the uh, every other week schedule. So until then, I appreciate all your support and thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time.